Morning, everyone. How are you? Welcome to Cooking with Nancy O and my husband, Rick. We're just sitting here um, thinking back to the weekend. I hope you guys had a great weekend. We had a wonderful weekend. We set up in a, a uh, market area in Stromberg, Nebraska. We have a friend who's from there. And we went to a Swedish festival, of all things, and tasted all kinds of delicious Swedish foods in farm country, but I gotta, I have to chuckle because nobody served any vegetables. So we are like craving our vegetables today and a good salad. And so we came up with a fast, quick meal today. And um, we're very excited to share it with you. I got this wonderful piece of chard off of our tar garden. And I'm, you know, we were gone for three days yeah. and the growth has been tremendous. It unbelievable when you come back and see how much it's grown yeah i mean the towers are chuck full they have wonderful vegetables growing on them now um i found some baby um uh pumpkins we have several different uh pumpkins all the squash we had some squash zucchini um two different kinds of pumpkins on the tower uh, acorn squash, and they are chuck full. Uh, we have blossoms hiding inside, outside. I had to really be digging today to find some fruit that's our vegetables. I call them fruit because they're fruit bear, fruit bearing vegetables. But I I really dug to find my pumpkins. I'm so excited to have pumpkins. I think the fall is my favorite time of year. So by the time all that squash, the acorn squash, the spaghetti squash, all that comes around. I'll be really excited to share all that with you. So we are very pleased with the growth while we were gone. And um, if you saw, caught the video of us harvesting it, we showed a picture on how to harvest our chard this morning. And you just kind of try to take it from the back because these plants will keep producing as you harvest from the, what do I want to call Outside. it? Maybe are the base, like the base, the base of the plant. And they just keep growing from the front. And this this chard was like, I don't know, a third, two thirds of this size when we left. And it grew like crazy because of it's constantly on a timer, constantly getting water and minerals, and you just can't ask for anything healthier. So we're gonna get started on a rest because I am like so excited about these vegetables we're growing. And my baby pumpkins, <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Um, I'm gonna get Rick started over on the stove. He is going to, are you doing the? Yeah. Okay, we have a couple tablespoons of olive oil going and we threw in one minced uh, garlic and he's just gonna cook that real quick. And what we're gonna make today is a pasta with chard. There are so many different ways to cook chard and I really debated what to make today. But I thought, you know, a nice pasta that's not overloaded is always something refreshing in the summer. And we're using a whole wheat pasta. And then we uh, are cutting up the chard. What we did here, these are our stems. And because they're harder, we cut them thinner so they would cook faster. And we're going to throw these into the pan uh, first and start cooking them while the garlic's going. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand that to you. Okay. Thank you. And he's going to start that before we put the leaves in. And I'm just gonna, these leaves are nice and big, so I'm just gonna tear them a little bit. They'll shrink down when they cook. And then we have the nice green leafy vegetable in there. And then I even um, had Rick run to the store and grab us some shrimp this morning and we cooked that up. And I want to share with you how we cook our shrimp because this is something my mom did and I absolutely loved it as a child and it added a lot of flavor to our shrimp. But this is, we get a nice big shrimp and we boil it and we put a seasoning packet. It's called crab and shrimp oil. There's all kinds of various people um, like brands and that, that you can find, but it's called shrimp, crab and shrimp oil. And when you boil your shrimp, as they start floating to the top, you know they're done and you want to get them out of the water. Otherwise, they'll get mushy. But it adds a beautiful flavor to that shrimp. And we're, I'm kind of spoiled and I spoiled Rick on learning how to cook all that because we like that flavor in our shrimp. So now 
I chose, oh, and whole wheat pasta. If you want to make sure you could use a gluten-free pasta if you want it. We just have a half a pound of pasta here. We have, just use a bunch of Swiss chard. So we, you saw what we harvested. We just took a bunch of stems and then um, we got them ready to cook. The other thing we have here is a little bit of Parmesan cheese and some capers. And we're gonna top it with lemon juice and some salt and pepper. So I'm gonna check on, well, I'm still tearing the lettuce for Rick here. Rick, how are our, I think it's, you think it's ready? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna hand him the leaves to put in. So he's gonna, gonna go quick. Yes, it's gonna go quick. And so then we'll, I'm gonna have to move this guy out of the way. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how big that is. And we planted, I think two sections of chard. And so we have a lot of chard. We also cut this up and eat it in our salads. And we just cut the whole plant up, throw it in our salad, but you can see one leaf is enough for two people. So um, it makes lots of salads at Tower Gardens. Okay, now the chard, I do wanna tell you that it is a leafy green vegetable and it's related to the beet and spinach family, which I did not know that all these years I've been eating this chard. But what I do know is it's very rich in vitamins A, C, and especially K. So these are a good and a good source of magnesium and potassium. So you can see how good this vegetable is for you and how we need to incorporate it into our meals. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, he's got this cooked to perfection. On top of the... He's, oh, this looks really good, guys. Hold on, I'm gonna get this out of the way. You're right here, I'll use this. Bring it over and I'll take it out of the pan for you. He's gotta get his oven mitts on. We happen to use a, a cast iron skillet. We're catching ourselves more and more using a cast iron skillet because we really, really like how nice it cooks our, our vegetables. Okay, this looks fantastic, Rick. Yep. I think you cooked it to perfection. Look at this. Now, if we could just, I don't think I'm going to be able to mix it. I'm just going to leave it layered here. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? Looks, looks really good. <laughs> Did you eat breakfast, honey? No. Nope. He didn't have breakfast, so you know he's ready to try this. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to take the shrimp and look at how beautiful this looks. Okay, we need to add the capers too, Rick. Do you want to just kind of sprinkle them yeah. on? There we go. If I had this in a bowl, I'd be able to toss a little bit, but I just love the way everything looks on, on um, a platter. Oh my goodness, look at all that. And the shrimp is delicious. Now the recipe didn't call for shrimp. That was our addition because I thought, oh, let's add some more protein to this. Doesn't let, that look fantastic? Okay, now we are going to top it with, oh, I got my fingers wet. Oh, salt and pepper. We got to have a little bit of salt and pepper on there. I do it better with my fingers. Okay. Let's do a little bit of pepper. And you know, pepper, you can do as much as you want. Same with the salt. You just flavor this to taste. All right. We're going to bring it all together with some lemon juice. Just drizzle the lemon juice in there. Do you think we can toss this at all? I don't think so. Yeah. It looks it'll, pretty it'll, good it'll, like it'll, this. Oh, guys, I hope you're drooling because Rick is. And you know, when Rick, he just oh loves this stuff. So I can make pasta and pancakes every day for Rick and he would be happy. But It's I, not a bad deal. Except for it's <laughs> not, been, as good. <laughs> not as healthy. Look at that. Now, obviously, you guys know you can add more Parmesan cheese if you want. Okay. Are you going to eat off of the platter or you want me to put it in a bowl? I think I better put it in a bowl. Put in a bowl. Okay. He's being polite, guys, yeah. just because he's on camera. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Look at this. I can stir it through. Yeah, look at this. I'm going to get some of this in there. That one, this one's really big. Oh, you cooked that to perfect. One more noodles in yes. there? There we go. Oh, wow. This is... Isn't that beautiful when you put it on a platter? This is a platter I had. Can you imagine presenting this to company? 
Okay, let's see if Ricky likes it. A huge bite. Huge bite. Okay, maybe we should let him chew that huge bite. It's always difficult to eat pasta, especially on camera. It's hanging. <laughs> but it's so funny. That's good. That's good. I mean, like, really good. Really good. Okay, so light, delicate. You can't ask for, did you see how fast this was to make this recipe, guys? Can you imagine having this done? You could even have everything pre-chopped. Technically, you can have your noodles pre-made and just pop them in um, the microwave or run them with some warm water. Throw them in the skillet with it real quick. Oh, yeah. Throw them in the skillet and that would help. So what do you think? Two thumbs up? <laughs> two, yeah. Two thumbs up. Okay, guys. So now you know what to do with your chard. I was debating whether to stir fry this, whether to do a, a raw um, recipe with the chard, but I think we have a slam dunk. And by adding the shrimp to it, you're the just- Shrimp was a great addition. Great addition. What about grilled chicken? You could add grilled chicken. You could add salmon to it if you love salmon. Uh, any type of fish would, would just top notch this for a healthy meal. and. Like I said before, your pasta can be whole wheat. You could do gluten-free. Whatever you prefer, you make it. We like the um, whole wheat pasta, and that's why we chose that. You could use different shaped noodles for a different interesting look to it. A lot of times we do that just to add some different um, techniques looking, and sometimes you fool the kids. And don't forget the chard, how yep. beautiful that is. Yep. Aren't you amazed with that? It's perfect. <laughs> okay. Guys, I hope you have a wonderful week. We're going to come to you uh, next week on a Tuesday. Uh, we have a, a schedule conflict. So Tuesday morning will be our day. And until then, you guys have a great week. Take care. Be careful out there because we want to see you next Tuesday on here. And until next week, bye for now. Bye. Okay, got to taste, taste it. that. That has got a great flavor. Oh. I like that it's not real heavy. Mm -hmm. That's much better. That's, oh. mm -hmm. High that five. Is, love it. Good. Kids are going to love it. I even might add a little more lemon juice. Yeah, that would be I good I like too. the lemon juice on there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I think we did really good, buddy. Yep. Thanks for